Today we're going to be installing the hybrid racing conversion, har conversion harness I have. So I read the guide last night. Doesn't look like it'll be too bad. Hopefully it won't. I'm also going to take a look at... I, I don't know if I'm going to relocate this today. I'm just going to see where, where the wires are on. It looks like... Yeah. We'll see. I do want to relocate this into the glove box. I don't know if I'm going to get that today. We'll see how much time I have. But for now, we're going to get started. All this, these are the old ECU, um, not ECU, these are the old engine harness plugs. So all this is going to go inside the car through here. And then <clears throat> we'll get the ECU out of there and we'll start splicing some wires. Worked my way around there. Took the back ones off first, and then worked my way around, and it came off without breaking anything. I de-pinned all the original engine harness connectors because I just think it'll be easier to tuck it under the dash like that. And then as far as the fuse box relocation, there's a lot of wires that kind of intersect and run over to this headlight harness here. So I would have to extend those to relocate it. I also want to run this through the fender, so I'm probably going to have to extend a few of these. I'd prefer to get like a second harness from a junkyard so I could use the actual wires. I just think it'd be cleaner. So I might hold off to do that. But right now I'm gonna tuck this in the car, tape it up, and then we should be ready to go in there and start splicing in some of the conversion harness wires. Got the carpet pulled back so we can access the ECU. I didn't have to pull all this back. I could have got it out, but I don't know. I got a little carried away. Anyway, there's four bolts here. We're gonna pull this out and then we'll try to pull the wires through and tuck up some tuck them somewhere up in there.
once again, the fuse box plugs. And then here's where the fuse box intersects with the headlight harness. We got the headlight harness and everything else. All the old engine harness wires have been pulled through the firewall. So, we got this mess in here. All these wires that I pulled through. So, I don't feel like leaving all this crap in the car. So I'm gonna depin each one of these and just take them out. And then maybe if there's Maybe I'll use these, if I can match the colors up, I might use those to extend the headlight harness. <clears throat> but we'll see. Quick update, just taking all the wires out. Taking them out one by one. Starting to look a lot cleaner back here. We only got a few more to take out. I've identified, there's just three wires Sorry, there's two wires on this A plug and one wire on this D plug that I need to connect to the conversion harness. So once I'm done taking all these extra wires out, we'll easily be able to splice those in and then we'll move over to the driver's side. I'll show you guys where I'm at. I've got all the wires taken out. They're up here on the roof. So all of this is out of the harness. The only thing that's left is these black red wires. According to the factory service manual, these are logic grounds. So I'll probably, I think they're intertwined with the body harness. So I'll probably just cut it and tuck it away or just tuck it away as it is. I'm trying to get organized down here. So I was looking at the pinouts for the stock ECU and this is the fan control. So this wire, as you can see, it's a yellow green. So let me come out here. And it's hard to see, but, so this is for the, this hooks up to the fuse box where the relays are. You can see that same fan wire runs in there. And then this black, black red wire comes out. So that provides the fan switch. So I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that I can take this wire and hook it up and somehow control the fan through the coolant temp sensor on the K Pro. Because the K Pro does have a fan output and you can turn the fan on based on what the coolant temperature is. So that would be awesome. That would simplify the whole fan system on these cars a lot because you won't have to have a fan switch or anything like that. Now, the other thing I'm doing is removing this plug down here. This was for the stock AC. And this basically controlled the compressor and the fan on the AC condenser. So I do plan to run AC, but if I do, I'm just gonna, if I end up having two fans, I'm probably gonna wire them to the same switch just to simplify things. And then as far as the compressor switch, I'm gonna put that into my, I'm gonna wire that into my K24 harness I have. So I just have these last two wires to remove and then I'll have that out. And then this is a lot smaller. And as far as the fuse box goes, I'm probably gonna leave it here because I don't know where I'm gonna put it in the car since I still have my heater box and my, all my AC components still in the car. So I think most people that move it in there, they get rid of that. Some people say they move to the trunk. That sounds like a lot of work as you can see. So I'm gonna remove these last two wires and then I can finally splice in the hybrid racing harness. Last update. I got the fuse box hooked back up. I don't really have room to relocate in the car. I don't wanna get into too much of a project here with this. It can always be done later. So for now, I'm gonna mount it back up here. I got some tubing on here. I got some tubing on the headlight harness. I do wanna run it through the fender, but at this point, I really wanna get the car started and running. Then I can mess with little stuff like this later. On the inside of the car, it's 
a little bit messy. Let me get a light here. Yeah, it's a little bit messy, but I have the fuel pump. Oh, that's my fan wire I talked about earlier. I got the fuel pump, the check engine light. Yeah, it's a little messy on this side, but I have the three wires from my conversion harness spliced in. And then this goes to the E-plug on the K-Series ECU. This I still have to splice into the K-Series harness. Then we have the O2 sensor wire. And then over here, it's like way up there. And then there's a C101 plug that we hooked up. Still have to run the coolant temp wire and the brake fluid.